Hello, we're going to be talking about the energy changes that take place in chemical reactions today. And in particular, we're going to talk about thermochemistry. This is a shorthand name for that. The energy changes in chemical reactions. Before we do so, we need to come up with some definitions as we talk about these physical and chemical changes that will be taking place. Let's define the system. And the system is the part of the universe that is being studied. That's of interest to us. And the surroundings is everything outside of the system. And so the universe is equal to the system plus the surroundings. So the, the system involves the ice cube that's melting. If we're looking at a physical change, if it's if we're talking about an acid base reaction, doing a neutralization, the re, the system are the reactants. So say sodium hydroxide and HCl would be the system and a titration that we're talking about. And the solution and the beaker and everything else would be the surroundings. And so those are the, our first set of definitions. Now we can talk about different types of systems. We can talk about open system in which mass And energy can go in and out of the system. We can talk about a closed system. We put a stopper on the bottle, for example. So mass can't go in and out, but energy could go in and out. And we can talk about an isolated system. So that's an open system. This was a closed system. Now this is an isolated system. And that no transfer of mass or energy can take place. So those are the different types of um, systems that we can have. more definitions to get us going here. Let's talk about heat. And heat is the transfer of thermal energy between two bodies at different temperature. Sometimes we refer to it as heat flow, but it's, they're really synonymous. Temperature is really just a measure of the hotness or coldness of a system, if you will. We can also talk about thermal energy. This is the energy associated with the random motion of molecules. We 
I've already mentioned that thermochemistry is the study of the energy of is involved with chemical reactions. And so it's going to be the study of the heat transfer associated with chemical processes. Be the chemical, physical, or chemical changes. We can talk about endothermic versus exothermic processes. The endothermic process absorbs heat, and an exothermic process releases heat. So a little bit fancier way of saying that is that an endothermic process, heat is supplied to the system, whereas an exothermic process, the system releases heat. The surroundings. So that's a brief intro to some definitions that we'll need to look at as we talk about thermochemistry.